Hello, 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 hello. Happy, happy Friday. Welcome back to the channel. I am Naturally Latree. And welcome back to Naturally, Naturally Latree Inspires. Why does that always fumble when I'm trying to say that? Naturally Latree Inspires. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Hello, hello, hello. I see you, see you, see you. I would really like to see you. I would like to get some engagement, some interaction. You know, stop by, tell me, hey, hello, what's up? What you doing? Tell me how your day was. Tell me some good, something good. Tell me something good. Oh, but yeah, um... Let's see, and welcome back to all of my subscribers who's been rocking and rolling with me. You know, I've been doing my thing, this, that, and that, and this. But if you've been here, you know that's just how I am. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Keep you from getting bored. Versatile. Versatility. But anyway, this video is going to be a crab leg mukbang with a dose of something else i am going to do it's going to be 10 fun facts about me yes i'm opening up a little more 10 fun facts about me and um so while i'm digging in on these crab legs cracking crackling doing whatever i want to do eat those up i have my little book um and how cute is this everyone deserves to shine Everyone deserves to shine. I love these little books like this. Have so many of little books for little sayings and little stuff. Take notes. But let's see. I have jotted down 10 fun facts about me that I am going to share with you all as I go ahead and have some crab legs. So yeah, these are just some basic. You know, these take don't take long to cool down and I was trying to get videos set up and oh my gosh but anyway I got some butter melted here melted here and um I'm gonna go ahead and work with what I have I forgot the obey dang it do I need some more obey put some in the water while it was boiling if y'all hear something in the background talking or whatever, whatever, that's my son, my baby boy, playing video games. He do a lot of that video game, you know, how they, how they do it, however they do it. Be playing with folks, be having a whole party in there, in that room, and I be like, is anybody else in there but him? But, he be connecting, having a ball. Okay, but anyway, um, if I need obey, I just go go grab some. But let's see. I was like, where do I begin at to share what I need to share? So did I even? Oh gosh, hold on. Hold up, wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. Oh, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, hold up. Y'all like how I did that in real time. <laughs> ah, that suck. I really, it, it really was a struggle for me to actually get up and walk away like that. Like, oh, I feel like I'm leaving the camera. But anyway, I had to do what I had to do. Plus, I want to make sure it was recorded because that would suck. If I wasn't talking to anyone. But okay, but anyway, move on. I said, where do I start? Start at the beginning. Okay. Me. I, fun fact, one, I was born in the army. So I am somewhat of an army brat. What's considered to be an army brat. Born in the army, yes, army hospital, yes. And something with that stuck with me. Most of my childhood, teen years, into early adult. I had really, really, 
I mean, from all the way back to the um, Be All You Can Be in the Army commercial that I remember. They used to come on the TV. I used to always say, I'm going to the Army, too. My dad was the one in the Army. And, um, you know, so my, my mom was a, a Army wife. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, I, um, something in me. It was, I was born into it. I used to always say, I'm going to the army. I, I used to always they see them commercials, be all you could be in the army. I'd be like, I'm going there, I'm going there. And um I used to say I was gonna be a doctor. I remember that. I would go to the army and be a doctor. But I was born in the army. And um something about the army still has took stuck with me because this is all one fun fact. Then I'm gonna move on to number two. <laughs> I guess that's why I love camouflage so much. Camo, camo greens, those color greens, army greens. I love those colors, that color. So anyway, that's one fun fact about me. And then, um, I am second child, oldest girl born to both of my parents but the way that it is broke down is so it's going to be this is two more two two facts in one i guess well this is going to be two different facts so the first one the second one i'm a second child oldest girl and moving on to the third is going to be it goes two ways with my parents my mom and my dad Together they have have um, two of us, my brother and I. My oldest brother is older than me. He is, well, of course he's oldest, <laughs> older than me. He's three years older than me. And then um, second child, oldest girl. This is with my dad. Well, my mom and my dad together. But then on down the line, I, my dad has, I have two other brothers that came along later outside of my mom. But anyway, not to be so deep into their business, but that makes me, um, my oldest brother and I, and then I have two other brothers. So second child, oldest girl with my dad. Second child, only girl out of the four of us there. And then with my mom, <laughs> it gets even excite more exciting. Altogether, my mom has eight children. So I am second child, oldest girl of eight children. Yes, I am. Second child, oldest girl of eight children. Yeah. So that there. Made a very interesting, um, it's, yeah, it's just interesting. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that was number three. And then, moving on down, coming into the later years. Number four. I am married for 20 years. I've been married. We've been together 26 years. But I am married 20 years to my child, to, to my child, to my high school sweetheart. I am. Yes. I am married to my high school sweetheart. And oh my gosh, if you want to hear that love connection, that love story, <laughs> let me know. That could be a story time. Oh my gosh. And anything that you, if you want more information, me to go more in detail, let me know in the comments. And then I can, um, you know, about any of these um, 10 facts about myself. You know, if I, you want me to go a little more in depth about them, let me know in the comments. Then I can do some story times. 
Okay. And number five, I am a mother of three sons. I have three sons, no daughters for me, my three sons. I love it. I love it. They are such a blessing. My husband is such a blessing. My three sons are such a blessing. God sent, for real. And, um, so, they are, my, my baby is 17, my middle son is 19, and my oldest son in a couple, mm, one, yeah, let's say two more weeks, couple weeks, he will be 25. I can see him talk about them all day. <laughs> my family, my, my children, I can talk about them all day. But yeah, those are my hearts. Oh my God. Love, love, love my babies. But so yeah, mother of three sons, young men, wonderful young men. And then I have, oh, thank you, Jesus. And then I have a number six. So that was number back number five, three sons. Mother of three sons and number six. Okay. This takes me through a, a, some, you know, different stages in my, um, in my life. Moving around a lot. Especially, especially, um, while growing up. This is going to be some story time. Oh, gosh. But I have lived in six states that I can remember living in. Actually, remember um, the states. You know, just being there. And they are Oklahoma, Miz <laughs> Oklahoma, Missouri, Kansas, Michigan, okay, Illinois, make sure I don't forget them, and uh, what's that, Oklahoma, Missouri, Kansas, Illinois, Michigan, and Georgia, yeah, yes, so that is six states that I can say I can remember That brings, brings me to um, that brings me to another fun fact. So that was Oklahoma, Missouri, Kansas, Illinois, Michigan, and Georgia. And number seven is going to come to another fun fact about Georgia, but it's about me as well. My mother's name is Georgia. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And my mama, who had the eight kids. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm. I ain't, I went got that um old baby. Didn't even put nothing on her. Yeah, I had put a little um, just a little bit, cause normally I put this some of this on there. That old bay. Have y'all tried it? You had to say you could do it on crab legs, shrimp, and chicken, whatever, whatever. But have y'all ever noticed on the back how you put that on popcorn or on fries or any bird, anything you want to put it on, pretty much. But it is bomb on popcorn. But yeah, so moving on to fun fact about me. I am borderline OCD, if not all the way there. <laughs> but I am not a uh, disclaimer, nothing wrong with being OCD. I don't think anything's wrong with it, it is what it is. And if I am, I accept it. Uh, but I know for sure I am a huge germaphobe i am i wash my hands I, it don't matter if i'm at home 
out in public, at work. I don't care where I am. I wash my hands so many times. I probably wash my hands a hundred times a day. I'm forever washing my hands. I really want to stop and go wash my hands in between these. I don't know. I got my little napkin, paper towel, man, my little towel. But when I get in, I'm gonna go, you know, so sub I'm scrub I'm good. Jump a foe, okay. When I get done with being out of outside the house or work wherever I have to get in there and wash everything down the drain. I just feel so my face. I just feel it's it's just hard. I'm a German dope. <laughs> In many ways, but um, that was eight, and then a fun, another fun fact about me. So, of course, that number eight was like a double, somewhat similarity. I, I say OCD, and I know that I am a huge germaphobe. And then number nine, I am very, very hard to get close to. I am what you would call a, this is, is introvert. I am very, very hard to get close to. Um, I have trust issues. That's why it's so hard for me to get close to. Um, I don't know if that stimulates from childhood growing up whatever you know different things moving around a lot um gosh that could be a story time telling you the, this different moving around the experiences and stuff but just not really ever really having time to build a really good relationship with people and then just seeing how things are at this day and age it's just, I don't really trust like that to, to let people get enough, close enough to me. So, yeah, that's just, that's me. That is me all day. But, um, I can say, let's see, um, oh, uh, let's see. Look up. Which means, with me like allowing people to get close to me, I can say that pretty much it's like I don't have any friends. <laughs> I do, but I don't. My husband, he's my friend, my best friend. Yes, he is. And then I have one. That um, she and I oh, stay in touch and it's been, you know, we talk on the phone here and there. She's busy, I'm busy. You know, we live in our life at the same time we communicate on the phone. You know, just uh, try to be encouraging to each other and different stuff like that. But um, even with that, I'm still kind of particular about how close I still let anyone get to me I mean of course I'll start my husband but with with um, her being my friend I can say because um and it was pretty much both from high school she, she from high school as well but um she um and I were able to relate to you know a lot of the same things at that time and it's the same at this time you know back then being um an older child of a lot of siblings she her i was you know second child oldest in my household of eight and she was i don't know which number child she was in there is in there but she born to 21 children so just being able to relate to that big family, um, having to help raise siblings, and um, the struggle for education, you know, just different stuff of that nature from then 
to now where we have made it to and being so thankful we can relate to that our marriage our children we can relate to religion you know and you know we just try to be supportive send each other uh you know we try to be encouraging to each other motivating you know so yeah but if anyone else pretty much is like co-worker i would consider co-worker or you know, to be a friend is a friend is a strong word. I think it is a it's a that's a very high rank in my opinion. So, yeah, you know, you have uh, like I said, you have I have coworkers. Um, anyway, either way, it's still hard to get close to me to actually get to know me because I'm very particular about what I want to let someone know about me. So I come across as very mysterious <laughs> because, and I don't care to know nobody else's business. Either. I mean, the next person will know about me. I mean, unless I have to know about a person, the next they have to know about me. <laughs> I'm very, I can be social, you know, but you know, it's just, you know, just kind of shoot the breeze, pass him, or whatever. Um, let's see. So, yeah, that part, um, I don't mind. You know, like I say, to, to, to classify friendship is a high rank there's levels of it so when i say actual friend i think that's that 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 takes time to build a real friendship i think for me to get the trust to call someone my friend be an associate co-worker a lot of uh other uh definitions for it before it becomes a friend so that was number nine and number ten mm -hmm. That ain't my son's home. I don't know what he be talking about, but I hear him. <laughs> I'm in my own bed right now. He's talking to somebody. But yeah. Ooh. I feel like I got a piece of the crab leg. Something mixed in there. <laughs> Okay, so number 10, I'm a Virgo. And me being a Virgo, I feel like I could break me down as being a Virgo by just letting you know I am a Virgo, which I consider me to be very feminine. I am very feminine, girly, just, you know, the female version of a female. <laughs> the female version of a female. I'm a lady. You know, there's a girl. There's a woman. There's a lady. I consider myself to be a lady. Definitions for all, I think. Um, I'm very meticulous. Oh my gosh, very meticulous in different things. And that brings me almost back to why I think I have the OC, somewhat OCD, because whatever I'm doing is like, oh my God, trying to get this little bit of this camera angled here is going to take me this long just because I'm trying to be so meticulous to do this. You know what I'm saying? Just so meticulous, just in many different ways. It's just a mild example. I analyze everything and everyone. I'm going to dissect, put it back together, dissect it again. I'm going to think about it. I just need to, I mean, you know, as far as to figure out not in a nosy way, but when it comes to, when it gets to the point where I say, okay, is this a person that I want to allow in my circle? Because my circle's so tiny, it's a pin, it's a pin dot. 
It's like, I have to analyze to, 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 to and weigh it out to, to know if I want, if, if, if it's um, meant to be, whatever it's going to be. If I'm going to make this particular video, if I'm going to communicate with particular person, whatever I'm going to do, if I'm going to, um, whatever, I'm just, I just analyze everything. I want, I question myself. I want to know what's, what's the outcome going to be before, before, I mean, I want to figure it out before it happens. <laughs> um, so, and that just brings me to say, with things and people, about the analyzing, being meticulous, and all of that, uh, it's like, I just want to know. I want to, okay, do I like you? Because cause me, I'm going to like you, people in general, just, either I like you. When I like you, I like you. When I don't, I don't. And, um, I'm like... I can turn, because I'm very good judge of character. I consider myself to be very good judge of character. And if it's for some reason that something just rubs me the wrong way, I could turn something off like a light switch. People will come invisible to me. I, be, I get tunnel vision. You know, so it's like I just be very meticulous and I have to analyze, you know, just to try to avoid even getting to certain points. So yeah, but when I love ya, I love ya. When I love, I love hard. And you know, you know, it's just what I do. It's like when my heart is touched by my husband, my children, my, you know, my family. It, to get in here takes a particular key. <laughs> But yeah, when I love you, I love you. So yeah, that was the 10 facts about me. And um, this was a nice video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I still got a whole little bit of some crab leg over there. But if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. I want to hear what you all think. Let me know if you want to do some, want me to do some story times about in, any, um, any of these topics, any of the 10 fun facts about myself. I can go more in depth about something, you know, it's in depth, depth as I'm going to go. <laughs> but yeah, um, there's other fun facts about me as well, but those are 10 that I was willing to share at this time. So if you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Like I said, welcome. Oh, yeah, turn on that notification for further videos. I will be uploading other videos. Share this video with a friend. Any of my videos, you know, I appreciate it if you share them. I don't have no problem with you sharing them. So anyway, welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks to all of you for watching this video. I am Natalie Latree. And as always, be inspired. Until next time, I made a mess. I'm about to clean this up. Until next time.